Um, the next album, The Age of Pleasure by Janelle Monae. Wow. Have y'all seen Janelle Monae's breasts lately? Shout out to Janelle Monae. That, you know, I highlight her boobs because I could tell that's a big moment for her. You know what I mean? That's a moment where she's able to truly be herself, truly fall into her, what her role is. I've been doing some research, because I've been fucking with Janelle Monae for years now. I've been doing some research, though, on why she would wear the suits. I said that she would wear the suits because her mother and father were once janitors back in the day. So to honor them, because that's what they wore when they were at work, to honor them when she was at work, when she was on stage performing and things of that nature, she wore a suit. So you got to respect that. Got to respect that. Shout out to Janelle Monet. This Age of Pleasure album is phenomenal. Um, from, you know, track by track, you know, I talked about the R&B album by Crystal Washington. You talk about album track listing, like the, the, the placement of the, of the albums. What the fuck did I just say? The placement of the songs within the album. Janelle Monet nailed it, man. The Age of Pleasure. The lead song, Float. It, it really what a single usually the single is not one of the best songs on the album this single just shines through you know you talk about that replay value you know it's only songs like float things like that really stick out to you because everything else is so cohesive you don't even know that the album started over to you like holy shit i heard float again that's how i judge albums you know what i mean if, if you can listen to it and you always want to come back to it or while you're listening to it, you listen to it over and over and over because you just want more and more and more. And 